Welcome to the Cape Coast Sports Stadium, Match Day 7, Ghana Premier League. Accra Hearts are at the adopted Cape Coast Sports Stadium, coming up against Elmina Sharks. The two teams coming into this game from winning fortunes from Match Day 6. Sharks were 1-0 winners of Antalya's in Elmina, and Hearts were 3-1 winners against Wild All Stars at the same venue. Elmina Sharks are coming into this game from the backdrop of four straight games without a defeat and that's how resurgent they've been after the match they won defeat to Dreams FC in Dewu. They've never lost a game and they have one outstanding game to play against Brekum Chelsea in Brekum. But the Phobians has been ups and downs for them. They lost 3-0 to Chelsea in Brekum. Came here to beat War All Stars. Before that, they are lost games to Abuasi Ashanti Gold on the way, and there would be no mood to drop points here at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium. They already lost their home game to Ashanti Gold at this venue, and Coach Henry Wellington knows the pressure would not stop Mountain if he dropped valuable points here against the resurgent Elmina Sharks team here at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium. So, this is our coverage of Match Day 7 of the Ghana Premier League. McLeod Ahin will be center man, assisted on the lines by B.A. Krenzel and Peter Dawusa. Amofa Sarkodie is fourth referee for this match here at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium. It's at Sabok against Elmina Sharks here in the Ghana Premier League Match Day 7 encounter. Coach Wellington knows too well he must back all three points for the Phobians. Two captains for the toss of coin, Daniel Obin Krensel and Inu Samusa were ready for the toss of coin before start of this game here in Cape Coast. So Obin Krensel gets to win the toss. He chooses where his team is going to play from and has Saboku do the kickoff for this game here in Cape Coast. This Elmina Sharks team keeps growing from strength to strength. And that's where they picked up from after their first day defeat. So an unchanged lineup from the team that beat War All Stars: Ben Mensa, Inusa Musa, Robert Adusoa, Fatal Mohammed, Benjamin Ejari, Al Hassan Amidu, Daniel Cordier, Samudin Ibrahim, Joseph Esso, Bless Selassie Bakai, and Patrick Razaka lining up for the Phobians. Wofo Kobna comes into the bench. He replaces Joshua Otu on the bench for the Phobians, and they are playing with a 4-4-2 formation with. Joseph Esso and Blessing Bakai Selassie leading the attack for the Phobians. Inusa Soa will be playing in the defensive lineup that also has Benjamin Ejari and Fatal Mohammed. Henry Wellington will be aiming for Hazelbrook's fourth victory of the campaign, having recorded wins against Dreams. Dwarfs and then Wild All Stars, they'll be aiming at their fourth win of the campaign. For Sharks, we have Richard Atta, Daniel Obin Krenzel, Siraj Ibrahim, Ofoye Opochu, Sanko Mohammed, Benjamin Chenebua, Benjamin Atta, Samo Atta, Felix Ado, Richard Impon, and Ishmael Hamon. An unchanged lineup from the team that beat Inter Allies by one goal to zero during the midweek. So, Ado and Mohammed leading the attack with Siraj Ofochuhamon and Atta playing in the back four with Richard Impon playing together in midfield with Daniel Obin Krenzel alongside Benjamin Atta and Benjamin Cheneboa. Interestingly, Edmond Ebomens dropped to the bench after some brilliant outings since the campaign began. So look at the Phobians. What a way to get set for this game. That's the bench of Arsabok. Evan Skwal, Isaac Mensah, Cosmos Dauda, Winfrey Kobna, Christopher Borney and Teofilos Jackson. Goalkeeper Richard Atta has been good for Shaq since the campaign began. Picked up a goal against War All Stars, considered a dream, and it's been brilliant since. That's Tetanote on the bench together with Benjamin Boatin, Emmanuel Ampia, Eric Ose, Tetanote, Ebomens, and Theophilus Adum. Waiting for the kickoff. 
So Bibiani based Mark Claude Ahen will put the two teams into action here in Cape Cruz. Here's Fatal Mohamed. Benjamin Ejare, he was voted man of the match when the Phobians won against All Stars during the midweek. Robert Addo, Joseph Esso, Patrick Razak brought down, gets the first free kick for the Phobians just outside the Dean, under one minute, and the Phobians are showing their intentions and purposes for this game. He could be dangerous for Hasabok. So, Patrick Razak spotted by Joseph Esso and he was obstructed by Benjamin Atta. Early free kick for Hatsabok. Richard Atta directing his human war to be in a pole position to prevent any early setback for Elmina Shaks in this game. Ejari is showing interest and Joseph Esso is also showing interest in this free kick. Joseph Esso has scored three goals so far for the Phobians. He has one assist and three goals in the six weeks old Ghana Premier League. McLeod Iron whistles. Esso bends one. Good save at her. So close. Had the book with an early chance from Joseph Esso's well taken free kick. Precisive, good save goalkeeper Richard Atta. Nearly caught him off guard, Joseph Esso. Razak with a corner kick, away by Atta. Throwing for Hatsabok. Samudin will leave it down for Robert Ado to take. Ado to Esso. Ado does what to send a cross dip in. No worries for Richard Atta. He's kept in five games so far. He was left out of the match day one squad that played in Dreams, but he came off the bench at certain stages in the game when Esam got injured. Ejari's clearance and Fatal fails to control, throwing for Elmina Shaks. Richard Impo for Shaxx. Chenebua. Good one too with Impo. Here is Chenebua. He finds Tanko Mohammed looking for space to drive. Takes the deflection of Inusa. It's cleared away by Razak. Good turn from Cordier. He brings Fatal into play. Fatal lays down one. He finds Blesselasi Bakai. Good run down the right. Good stop from Ofoyo for two. Brilliant defensive play from the Shaq center back. Felix Ado. Ejari wins possession for the Phobians. Here is Daniel Cordier. Too much weight behind the pass. It's a goal kick for Elmina Shaq. Ejari is first to the ball. Benjamin Chenebua playing from his favorite left wing position. Here is Chenebua still looking for space. He sends the cross in, headed away by Ejari. Sanko returns it. And Ben Mensa will stop him from going for a goal kick. Has to work at third on the Premier League table. Ten points from six games. They could go top of the campaign just for today because Ashanti God is yet to play tomorrow against the Diana Stars in Obuasi. Aminu Mohamed is heckled. He gets a free kick. Good decision by Maclod Ahin. Ejari has played in all of us about six matches in the Premier League and is in good in central defense for the Phobians. Benjamin Ejari. He's becoming a permanent feature in Hazelbrook defensive setup since joining from Hearts of Lions. Hey, 
Asad delivers and Tanko will go in mid air. Inusa Musa heads it down. Robert Addo tries to look for Joseph Esso. One on one against Ishmael Hammond. Another clever play from Ofoy Ofochu. He gives it away. Here is Razak. He goes into the box. Razak lays one down. And has the box unlucky. Ishmael Hammond is finally cleared away by Benjamin Atta. Suraj gives it away, throwing for Hasabok. So Ofoyo for two shoulder attack, so much of that ball. He stole possession, tried placing one down for Esso, and Shaq did well to defend. We've done five minutes in Cape Coast. It's Hasabok zero, Elmina Shaq zero. And here are the traveling Elmina Shaq supporters. I was telling you a while ago. They've been traveling with the team ever since the Premier League began. They've been ever present across all venues. Samudin Ibrahim. He gives the ball away. Felix Adu tries one from a distance. And Fatal will pick it up. Ofoyo Fuchu keeping a close eye on Joseph Esso. He's played in every game for Shaq since the campaign began. Ofoyo Ofochu. Now, yes, blessing Selassie Bakai. Fatal Mohammed. Flag had already been raised. And so. Shaq will have the throw into the advantage. Fatal cleverly gets the throw in for Hearts of Oak. Fatal ready for the throw in. And referee is asking him. to position himself well and take that throw Fatal that's it well this time Benjamin Atta with a big boot inside Tanko and Fatal will slug it out and Shaxx will get the advantage Samo Atta Impon to Ishmael Harmon. Harmon tries to look for Siraj Ibrahim. Can he get to the end of it? Siraj goes into it too much. He showed too much of the ball. A first time pass would have done for Siraj Ibrahim. But as of all, goalkeeper Ben Mensa has some problems. McLaudine will stop play for Ben Mensa to be attended to so good pass from Ismail Hamon good running by Siraj but the first touch had too much weight behind it could have located Felix Ado with a first timer Siraj Ibrahim He's come up with some brilliant performances for Shaq since the campaign began. He was man of the match when Elmina Shaq beat Wafa in Kumase. Siraj Ibrahim, very good at running down the right flank. Robert Ado, Samuddin Ibrahim, back to Ado, Aminu Mohamed. Good play from Aminu, gets back to Ado. Purposeless one from Ado, rolls over for a goal kick for Sharks of Elmina. So that's the run from Siraj again. The first touch, just too much. Achampong wouldn't be happy about that one. He knows too much. Siraj could have preferred the better option of going for a first timer to Felix Ado in that box. Razak casually gives away possession. Ready. 
the last team. Handball. Fa foul for Hartsabok. Robert Addo will take the free kick for the Phobians. Sends one dip into enemy territory. Heads go up. Goalkeeper Atai first to react. And Samodini runs to the end of the ball. Esso finds Fatal. Fatal, Joseph Esso, back to Fatal. Felix Ado will pick it up for Shank. He's gone past Samudin. Here is Felix Ado. It's Tanko Mohamed. He's got space. It's still Tanko. He shoots. It goes wide. Not too far from target, Tanko Mohamed. Felix Ado was interested in it. The moment he gave the pass to Tanko, he did the run to the right side. Tanko decided to go for goal and he missed the ball by inches. Unlucky Tanko Mohamed. Hasabok have a free kick dip into enemy territory. Patrick Rozak will take it for the Phobians. He's caught two goals already in the Premier League. Razak Ben Swane is cleared away finally by Ofoye Ofochu. Samudin fouls Benjamin Atta. So it's Elmina Shaks with a free kick. We've done 12 minutes. Hatsabok 0, Elmina Shaks 0. Last season, Hatsabok beat Elmina Shaks in fact by two goals to 0 in Elmina. And interestingly, Kwame Kizito and Thomas Abe, who both scored those goals on that occasion, are not in the squad today. They are both away seeking greener pastures outside the shores of the country. Here is Samo Atta. Impon tries to look for Cheniboa. He rolls over the line for a throw into Hatsabok. And the reverse picture of that 2-0 game was a 1-1 drawn game in Accra where Fokobna scored the equalizer from a spectacular free kick for Hatsabok after Joseph Mensah had scored the first goal in that one all drawn game played in Accra. Here is Samudin, one of Hatsabok's big name players but yet to see any big performances from them this season. Ejare. Clarence only as far as the throw in for Elmina Shaks. Cross comes in. Takes the deflection of Fatal. It's a corner kick for Elmina Shaks. So it's 14 minutes and Shaq have their first corner of the afternoon taken by Chenebua. He finds Sami Atta. He sends the cross deep in, flicked away by Ejare. Daniel Kodye. Can he go around Impon? Tries to look for Salasi Bakai. Suraj is beaten to the ball with a throw in for Hatsabok. Decision that Shaq, both the bench and the players on the field are disagreeing with. Maxwell Ahim This time Shaq will have the advantage It's a free kick Ishmael Hammond Tanko controls well Ejari clears But Impo Benjamin Atta Krinsil Suraj Krinsil back to Suraj Benjamin Chenebua goes into the box, sends across, so close Chenebua. Remember he scored against Hatsabok in the preseason friendly before the league began. 
and he scored against the same goalkeeper Ben Mensa. That's some good play from Chenebua. Got into the box, sent across. It was teasing, gracing the face of the goalpost. There was no connection to it, but I tell you what, it looked very threatening for the Phobians. Here is Chenebua. Samoata, he gets a throw in for Elmina Sharks. Samoa Atta combining well with Benjamin Chenebua on the left wing half of Elmina Sharks. Impon has had two assists in the Premier League so far. Sami Atta's delivery headed away by Inusa. Fatal flicks it back. Chenebua to Atta. Impon. Good dummy. Tried the grounder from the distance and Inusa. That's what to come play for the Phobians. Here is Fatal. Samudin gives away possession. Tanko Mohammed is beaten to the ball by Aminu. And Ejari tries to look for Bless. Then Salasi Bakai. Salasi goes to Patrick Razak. Razak on his chest. Samoata under pressure. He completes a throw in. Good pressure from Patrick Razak. He's always been a tormentor anytime the Phobians play in Cape Coast. Fatal throwing. Headed back by Ofochu. Chenebua to Impon. This could be a break for Sharks. Tanko Mohamed. Felix Ado unable to control. Benjamin Ejari. Robert Ado. Aminu. Samudin. Back to Aminu. Good play from Hatsabok. Passing the ball delightfully at this stage. Here is Samudin. Blessing Selassie Bakai. He falls down. Easy fall from the Hatsabok young striker. Not attracting any sympathy from McLeod Ahin. Ben Mensa finds Fatal. Daniel Cordier. Cordier tries to find Razak. But Siraj Ibrahim does want to go back to goalkeeper Richard Atta. Siraj has played all six games for Elmina Sharks this season. He's been their ever present right back since the campaign began. Foul by Impon on Aminu Mohammed. He joined the fray after the Phobian lost to Ashanti Gold. He came into the next four games and is yet to go back to the bench, Aminu Hassan. So this is the incident again. There was a push from Impon. Referee spotted it. And Aminu would need some attention from the Hatsabok medical team. <laughs> Elmina Shaq, unmistakable identity. They are all green jerseys and green white stockings to match has been the identity since they joined the elite division a season ago and the Phobians in their usual red, blue and yellow strips over red socks too much 
and it's 20 minutes in Kepkus. Hatsabok 0, Elmina Shak 0. Match day 7 of the Ghana Premier League. Our coverage on Star Times Mix Channel 247. Here at the Kepkus Sports Stadium. This is our first of a double header. Later this evening, we'll be coming your way with Midyama and Inter Allies. Here is Fatal Mohamed. Samudin Ibrahim, Daniel Cordier tries to get to Joseph Esso, but Ishmael Hamon defends well. Cordier, Esso, Samudin was looking for Salati Bakai. The idea was good by the execution. Think come good for Samudin Ibrahim. <laughs> Samudin's second game for Hatsabok with a true pass was meant for blessing Salati Bakai but the young striker ha could not reach that far with his face so goalkeeper Richard Atta for his sake the game is halted for some time so it's okay and ready to go we will still wait Reserve goalkeeper Francis Atta warming up just in case Richard Atta is unable to continue. And that's the Bantuma Achinim Elmina Sharks fans. They were in Kumasi, they were in Obuasi, they were in Dewu, and they've been everywhere the team has traveled to. And their presence has proved crucial for Elmina Sharks. Time for Inu Samusa, the captain, to have a word with his players, Ejari Ado and then Aminu. So that's the left thigh of Richard Atta bandaged. For him to continue with play here at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium. The former Ochiman Planners goalkeeper in his second season with Sharks. Samuel Arthur sends one. He finds Benjamin Chuniboa. Chuniboa tries to look for Tanko Mohammed. He's got Daniel Benjamin Ejari to contend with. It's Tanko and again against Ejari. Tanko wins it. Go play from Impon. Cheniboa. Impon to Sanko. Goes around Ejari. Sends a cross. Headed away by Inusa Musa. Ejari. Racing for the ball is Joseph Esso. Good run from Esso. But the ball had traveled over the line for Elmina Shaq's throwing. So that's the pass again. He did, was, he did his best, but just wasn't enough to keep that ball in play. Approaching 25 minutes, it's still hard to work zero. Elmina Shaq zero. Felix Ado switches to the right Siraj Ibrahim. Racing deep. He gets into the box. Here is. Daniel Obin Crystal, it takes the deflection of Ejari and in the Sharks corner. Good pressure from Elmina Sharks. Short corner taken. So that's the ball to Daniel Crystal again. And Sharks are ahead. Elmina Sharks 
and one goal up. Felix Ado have put Elmina Sachs ahead. 1-0, just against the run of play. So short corner taken by Surad. He finds Daniel Crenshaw sent in across into the box and Felix Adu totally unmarked headed the ball into the net for the first goal for Elmina Sharks. No marking whatsoever. Some poor defensive play. So what a way to celebrate Felix Adu. Some assaulting. Has to down by one go to zero in Cape Coast. Felix Ado has put the shots ahead. The sea animals up by one goal against the Phobians. Let's see what kind of reaction they come up with. Here is Ishmael Hamon. Daniel Obin Krenzel. He gives it away to Amino Hassan. Here is Daniel Kodier. Samudin Ibrahim shoots. Blocked by Ofoi. Benjamin Chenibois to Impon. Impon to Chenibois again. Good play. Impon. He's giving it away. Bless the lassie. So a bit of inexperience is telling on his play. Blessing Selassie Bakai. He didn't have to go for it for the first time. He has several options. Felix Ado tries this one from a distance. Ben Mensah will not be beaten this time. Blessing Selassie Bakai. Daniel Kodia is obstructed by Benjamin Atta. Free kick taken. Samudin is looking for Razak. He finds Razak deep in the box. Good play, Razak. He still hangs on to it. He finds Fatal. Fatal with a cross in. Disappointing cross from Fatal Mohamed. It's a goal kick for Elmina Shaks. Hatsabok down by one goal. The last time the two teams met in Accra, it was Elmina Shaks who took the lead through Joseph Amwa. And Kobna cancelled out in the first half of this game this season. They are up by one goal, and Kobna is on the bench. We are approaching the half hour mark of the game. It's hard to work down by one goal. Samo Atta, Benjamin Atta, Benjamin Cheniboa, Samo Atta whips one in. He's gifted the Phobians with a throw in. Hatsabok concedes another throw in. Tanko Mohammed. Foul on Joseph Esso by Ishmael Hammond. The free kick was quickly taken, but referee calls it back for it to be retaken. The last time the Phobians went down here, they lost 3 1 to Ashanti Gold. Ejari will take the free kick for Hatsabok. A few meters away from the center line. 
and Ejari takes he wants the rebound flag is up against Inu Samusa no questions about that Via Krenzel had it well read. He has a word for goalkeeper Richard Atta. Maybe suspecting time wasting antics from the Sharks goalie. Hamondo takes the free kick. Ado heads it, throw in for Sharks. This time Felix Ado is unable to keep it in play and is gifted Hatsabok with a throw in which is taken, headed by Benjamin Atta. Impon does well to win possession. Here is Benjamin Trinibua. He's got space up front. He finds Tanko Mohamed. Tanko against Benjamin Ejari. Tanko locates Krenzel. Krenzel dummies. And Benjamin Atta tried a little flick. And has the ball to take possession. Oh, Inusa cheekily gives the ball away. Benjamin Atta. Samo Atta. Richard Impon. Tanko Mohamed. Goes around Fatal and Aminu will take it for the Phobians. Elmina Shaks. Flag goes up against Tanko Mohamed. He was in the offside trap. Didn't know what to do, so he allowed Benjamin Chenebwa to move, and Chenebwa got himself flagged up for offside. Chenebois is yet to score in this season's Premier League. He was the best player for Elmina Shaks last season. Yet to sparkle. And Yahweh Champon says he understands too well the situation of Benjamin Chenebois. He's convinced he's going to bounce back big time. Samudin Ibrahim gives the ball away to Tanko Mohamed. But Amino will pick it up for the Phobians. Ejari. Razak Aminu switches to Robert Ado. Ado controls it down. He wins a free kick. Obstructed by Siraj Ibrahim. Siraj disagrees with the decision and he's asking questions about it. So Ado controls on his chest. Tries to find his way. He gets obstructed by Siraj. Difficult call by referee Maclod Ahin. As many as five basketball players in the Elmina Shark box. Inusa, Ado, Selassie, Kodye, Eso, Samudin is joining to make it six. And Elmina Shaq have equally six men there. Razak! Oh, how could they have missed? Selassie, Eso, Inusa, and all of them couldn't have a touch to the ball. Blessing Selassie Bakai. So a little bit of communication would have done for these guys because they were not marked. They were in a poor position to get their headers in, but all of them missed. 34 minutes in Cape Coast. Hats are booked down by Felix Ado's lone goal for Elmina Sharks. Benjamin Cheneboa. Felix Ado. Oh, lovely skill from Ado. He finds Cheneboa with a sweet back kill. Cheneboa goes around Ejari. Here is Samo Atta. Ishmael Hammond, Benjamin Atta, 
Daniel Crimsill looks for Siraj. He can't get to Siraj with that one. There's a goal kick for the Phobian. Some good play from Elmina Shak. They seem to be on top. After scoring that goal, they've not dropped their guard. They've taken over the midfield and the Phobians must do well to get their midfield back working. The penetrating passes are not going. The play-by-play -play distribution is not going on well. Here is Benjamin Atta. Siraj gets the throw in from the head of Dan Cordier. Tanku Mohammed, another throw in for Sharks. So Hatsabok, that's a bad challenge from Tanko on Inu Samusa. It was unintentional, it was a late one. That was a late challenge on Inu Samusa. Here's the player already recovering from injury. Hatsabok. Will be unlucky to lose Inusa at this stage, and you can tell from his reaction all the pain he's going through. The Hatsabo captain is down injured. He'll need some attention to get him back into the game. Three wins and a draw in between two defeats the story for the phobians this one one of them so that's the goal again daniel krenzel's delivery and felix ado without marking the phobians were caught ball watching and ado pounces on to score this brilliant goal and yahweh champon obviously delighted We've seen some wild celebrations from coaches in the Premier League since it began. We can talk about CK O'Connor, we can talk about Reginald Asante, and we can talk about Yahweh Champon now. That CK O'Connor celebration in that game against Kotoko really comes to mind. He celebrated and at a point he was running out of gas. So goalkeeper Richard Atta, it's obvious his bandage tie will trouble him this afternoon. The second time he's taking treatment from the medical team of Elmina Sharks. So Sally Beha has to work. Drew match day one against Techiman 11 Wonders. Lost match day 2 3 1 to Ashanti Gold. Bounced back to beat Dwarfs by two goals to zero. Followed up with a two successive win against Dreams FC, beating them 1 0. Then, when everybody felt the Phobians were back into their elements, they stumbled in Brekum. They lost 3 0 to Chelsea. Came back on midweek to beat Wa All Stars by 3 1. And here they are, down by one go to zero, as we approach 40 minutes in Cape Coast. It's their home game, and they are down against Elmina Sharks. <laughs> Samudin, Patrick Razak in the box of Sharks. He's got Ofoy Ofochu to contend with. Razak to Samudin. Samudin loses out. Here is Tanko Mohammed against Inu Samusa. Another hit. This time he should go for a yellow card. Yes, he deserves it. He went straight for Inusa and not the ball. Tanko Mohammed, he deserves the yellow card. So that's it. This is uncalled for. 
he lost the ball and kicked Inusa from behind. Yellow card for Tanko. He scored during the midway game against Inter Allies in Elmina. And he's picked the yellow card in 40 minutes here in Cape Coast. Aminu unable to keep Okodia in, throwing for Elmina Sharks. Suraj Ibrahim has spotted Impon. He finds Impon. That's what to keep it and win a throw in from the boot of Aminu Al Hassan. We are four minutes away from regulation 45 to end the first half of this game in Cape Coast. Suraj Ibrahim, he sends across. Daniel Crenshaw! Oh! What a goal! Magnificent goal from Daniel Abin Crenshaw. Amazing stuff from the Sharks captain. His second of the season, and this one is a majestic one. Daniel Abin Crenshaw with a, an amazing strike. Brilliant goal by all standards. Had Sabok down by two goals to zero at half time. So Suraj, he sent in the cross, deflected to Daniel Crenshaw, and what a goal to the top right corner. And goalkeeper Ben Mensah, completely beaten, had no answers to it. Good goal by Daniel Obin Crenshaw. Magical moment for Elmina Sachs. His second of the season, he scored against Wafa in Kumase. And he scored against Hatsabok. Down by two goals, 42 minutes only here in Cape Coast. How can the Phobians come back into this game? Against Ashanti Gold, they went down by two goals to zero and they never recovered. Here in Cape Coast against Sharks, they are down by two. Can they recover? Only time will tell. After losing to Dreams FC on match day one, Elmina Sharks have not lost any game. They've drawn twice, one against All Stars, one against Eduana, and they've also won twice. Ben Mensah under pressure, he gets the ball away. Daniel Krenzo gives it up to Razak. Aminu Ahasan for Hasabok. Robert Addo. Back to Aminu. Gets back to Addo. Blessing Salati Bakai, Patrick Razak, Joseph Esso, can he turn? Salati Bakai, Patrick Razak wants to get into the box. He finds Aminu Ahasan. Aminu tries one. Disappointingly wayward. Goal kick for Elmina Sharks. That was a wasted effort from Aminu Ahasan. Richard Atta's delivery, headed down by Inusa, Daniel Obin Crenshaw. Captains that say lead by example, and it's led really well, not only in this game, but throughout the campaign. Tanko is down with some problems. The Almina Sharks. Number nine will need some attention from the medical team. Not expecting more than a minute of time added on. We've not had any stoppages, any major stoppages in this house. So Tanko is being taken outside the field for the game to continue. We're doing three minutes of stoppage time. Benjamin Atta sheds sagging from Daniel Cordier. 
The hearts of us midfield have been virtually non-existent. Benjamin Atta, Daniel Crinsill have taken over this midfield that has seen Samudin and Aminu together with Daniel Okodie basically chasing their shadows. Inu Samusa. He gets a return from Robert Addo. Benjamin Atta concedes a throw in. Elmina Sharks have only beaten Atabok in a friendly game and not in a competitive game. Ishmael Hamon policing Joseph Esso before he causes any danger. Tanko goes around his man and Ben Mensah will not be beaten. Ejari is having difficult times taking care of Tanko Mohammed. Aminu Hassan tries to look for Fatau. That's what to find him. Ball is cleared by Ishma Hamon. Throwing hearts to work. The very diehard hearts to work supporters would have doubted if you told them they would have been down by two goals at half time. But that's the story so far here in Cape Coast. Tanko was looking for Impon, but Fatah will go back to Benjamin Ejari. The former Lions man finds Joseph Esso. Ofoy Ofochu, that's what to come play for Elmina Shak and he wins the sympathy of the referee. He was fouled, and that's a free kick for Elmina Shak. Early substitution for Hatsabok. Ofoy Ofochu. Combining so well with Ishmael Hamon in central defense for Elmina Shaks. 47 minutes, one more to go. Maxwell McLeod Ahin, the class one referee from BBNE, has brought the first half to an end here at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium. Goals from Felix Ado and Daniel Obin Crinsel separating Hatsabok from Elmina Shaks here at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium. Yahweh Champon and his men are going into the tunnel with the good news and with the best performance here at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium. At half time, it's at Sabok 0, Elmina Sachs 2.